All right, so welcome back. Hopefully all of you guys are having a fabulous day here today. Hopefully you guys are just partying, taking care of things. Uh, we do got some uh, fun stuff to talk about, some fun stuff to jump into, because I kind of wanted to warn you, like kind of before going into the current banners, which you may have already gotten into. They've been out for like two days now. Uh, the current banners uh, basically include Han Semi, which she's a worth it character, so skipping her is just the dumbest thing to do. You already get basically a copy of this and i think an extra copy too so an a1 version of go gun he and that's enough right that really is enough to kind of get things done so mainly you're looking forward to this character here and i think most players have already pulled her because again it's it's a win supporter you gotta build your mirai if you if you summon for mirai uh, or however you say her name uh then it, it, it's fine right so that's, that's that's the main part but when it comes to pushing further on go gun here or pushing more right now is it worth it is the question what i wanted to share with you is the two big things coming to the game and the leaks we now have that are kind of indicating that it might it might not be worth it to spend a lot more right now but it depends correct we have to see the kits and obviously with leaks things change right we, we definitely saw that right go gun he was much less of a character maybe they do the same thing with these characters but they're already so kind of good here Will they get any better? So today I want to talk about that just to show it to you. Uh, if you are new to the channel, like and subscribe, it helps out a ton. Summer giveaway still ongoing. Reply to the pinned comment uh, winner. That's all you got to do. And you got to be subscribed. So there's that. And just leave a like. Cool. Cool. Let's hop into it. Let's go over there. As always, if you want to support me, it does help out a ton. Consider doing so. Link in the description or pinned comment. Uh, the gift codes are there. So if you want to get those gift codes, again, um, I'll be sending them out to my supporters as soon as possible. And I do that pretty early. So if you never want to miss out on the codes, again, very easy. Click the support button. Uh, link in the description or pinned comment helps out a ton. So. Besides that, moving on, let's get into things. Uh, first things first, the leaks that we have over here first. We'll go into the first leak and then the second leak after. The first leak is this over here. We actually have a date over here, depending on when they release it. But we have a more more finalized date. We're actually getting Thomas in November slash late October. So, I was saying this originally in my uh, first video when I told you that, like, Alpha Leaker was teasing something. And it looked like he was teasing Thomas, yeah? And I told everybody, like, it looks like he's releasing this year because you're not starting development that that early right like you're not developing january content like right now you're probably developing you know some of the earlier content right now um and they were developing thomas and thomas is coming soon uh who knows if they actually you know streamlined the development process because they saw how much hatred go gun he got uh because a lot of players wanted him and they just you know he, he released to be a, a far different character than expected so maybe thomas is like that far better character uh but again he was releasing in november slash late october so there's the confirmation there uh so again whether if you want to save for this character or plan to go for this character it's around october to late november w would saving be smart for this one i would say no just because how many hunters you got to skip in between and a lot of these hunters are releasing to be very good and they are good pickups for guild content for raid content for pushing wobble for all this stuff here these characters are kind of worth it so again skipping is is always it's different for everybody right you could skip it because you got like a, a a5 freaking hansemi a5 mirai who knows yeah but with the typings and everything it's always it's always bad to skip some things but again to, to each their own for right now though thomas coming out in november slash late october apparently he's coming out with the half any and uh, a festival which how wait, we're getting the half any then <laughs> wait what I did not even know that the half any is releasing then. Um, we had a dev note show it. Preview of changes, I think this was. Uh, nope. It's the one before preview of changes. Uh, developer thing over here. Yeah, here we go. Second half of 2024 roadmap. This had it, which will show it to us. So he's releasing in 100 Day Festival, 0.5 Festival. So he's releasing during the 0.5 Festival, apparently. Uh, again, just like how, you know, he released for the 100 Day Festival, he's releasing for the 0.5 Festival, and he's releasing just for, um, well, the, <laughs> the end of the year, I guess, but that's what's happening. So again, buckle in for that, be ready for that, just want to make it clear, but this is not the main thing that I want to talk about. The main thing I want to talk about is is in-game, and also a leak. Let's, let's hop over there. So hopping back in-game real quick, let's go over here. If you were to view it in lobby, a lot of people already know this, but this is our newest hunter coming soon. Uh, we have some actual information from Alpha Leaker here, uh, and I wanted to share the uh, the official thing. If I can find the screenshot of where he said it, I'll show it to you. Uh, but basically, this is the new hunter coming soon. Uh, this is a dark hunter, actually, and apparently this uh, character is going to be like meta changing or very freaking good. That's what Alpha Leaker was kind of saying, um, that skipping Gogunhi or like 
going towards this character might be the right thing to do because currently the character is looking pretty busted and a lot of the talk of the thing is you know another female character better than a male character which to each their own <laughs> i know that's a very hot topic so let me not jump on that one but um yeah it, it's kind of true most female characters are destroying male characters if you were to look at tier list rankings and everything and oc characters destroy also uh this is a oc character i'm pretty sure 100 dark character and already a dark character that is going to be freaking meta and if you look at it the dark category really isn't a crazy category let's be very honest here so it's it's definitely in need of the s plus character and it looks like this character is going to be your s plus dark character correct we, we every character every every category basically sort of has their s plus water has alicia wind has mirai um light has cha and technically fire did have yo suyun how, how do you say her name a lot of players do say she's s plus uh, or people just say emma's s plus so whatever you want to say on that front but dark doesn't have that right now silver main and whatever it is is not the character bora is a great support character but apparently she's like s plus and, and apparently i've seen people say uh that she's s plus plus based on the stuff we know um so just know this now that if you are summoning and going for things you might want to save her this character she is the next character we know that right uh seeing a character pop up in game you can actually again uh sort of predict or, or know that she's coming next uh if you were to talk to her also her name is Harper. Is there anything fun to do here? And then again, you can say, who are you? And it just shows the uh, full body here of the character. Ha ha, I suppose there's something to entertain me here after all. And again, you see the design over here. She's like stickers over here. Uh, these things, suspenders, I guess. But pretty standard stuff here. On her backpack, she actually has a Sung Jin Woo <laughs> sticker, which is kind of cool. Another sticker over here. And if you look really closely, she has, I think this is her sister. I think it's twins. I'm not sure. Like Rem Rom uh, from, again, ReZero. Uh, she's the pink hair she's the blue hair i don't know if she's releasing right after i can't tell you that for sure so don't don't say that um but she is a character up and coming i think that she's also dark element and they're both dark element twins but i'm not sure so i don't want to i don't want to lie on that front or, or give you a pro improper information but what i will say is she's another character that is planned i don't know if it's planned next and i don't know when it's planned but she is planned um so again she was also shown by alpha leaker uh, so again we have a meta character coming soon we have this coming soon also we have thomas coming soon so again it's up to you on how you want to operate things uh, with Go Gunhi. Go Gunhi is a free A1, so is it worth it to push to A2, 3, 4, 5? Again, your decision. Han Semi is still worth a character, so regardless of what I tell you in this video, it is worth it to pull Han Semi. She is, in my opinion, almost integral for the entire wind attribute. Plus, with all the content that you have for wind, I think that it's, it's better to use this character. Again, going for for Han Semi versus, again, um, this for right now. Uh, and again, with, with how we see things and how things operate, um, theoretically, if you go for Han Semi and then you could just try to save Pity or uh, head for this character and see how that goes, but uh, it's up to you. We're, we're all in, again, different areas. I don't know if you need a win supporter. I don't know how that operates for you, but um, would I say Han Semi was a must-pull? I would say she's pretty damn good, right? And again, it's a supporter who's always going to remain into the game and last for a good amount of time. If you're, if you're trying to go for, like, raid content, if you're trying to go for Wobble, Remember, these characters are kind of must-haves. Anything that's water and wind are very powerful because of the two contents we have. Uh, Dark also is getting pretty powerful, too, uh, depending on, again, the, the bosses you have to farm for it. So, for the most part, that's what I wanted to just kind of share with you, that, again, we have a meta character coming very soon. We have Go Gun He in-game right now. Not really meta, but uh, he is still damn good. He still, he still ranks pretty high in tier list. Again, he's not going to rank higher than most characters, but he is ranking high, so he didn't really be horrible. But you're getting a free A1 copy, right? You are getting a free A1 copy. I know that he has to be pushed to A3 in order to be good, but, you know, that's what they did, right? They gave you A1, he needs A3, you have to go for A2 and A3. So is that worth it versus pulling for maybe a character like this who does look very good? So let me know, let me know. Just want to share that with you. Talk about this real quick. And again, this is a new character. That's her sister over here. Uh, Thomas already apparently coming out anniversary time. So buckle in for that. Probably again around um, late October, early November. Um, so yeah. That's it. Take care. Have fun. That's been the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.